Hi there, so I'm going to take you through using Keyword Planner. Keyword Planner. Keyword Planner is uh, Google's tool that has replaced their keyword tool. So you may have been familiar with Keyword Tool. In the uh, previous, my first version of the Internet Marketing Bootcamp, I would have shown you how to use um, the Keyword Tool, but now, as you'll see here, um, Keyword Planner, Keyword Planner, has now replaced the keyword tool. So what I've done is I've updated uh, this particular module um, with the latest training on how to use Keyword Planner because it's very different from Keyword Tool. So we use Keyword Planner to help us find uh, good keywords that we're going to focus on. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to say as well is I don't want you just to look for one particular keyword phrase. I want you to look for at least five keyword phrases. Okay, so that's at least five keyword phrases. So um, without further ado, let's take you to Keyword Planner. What you need to do is you need to visit here the AdWords, adwords.google.com. That's adwords.google.com. If I cut and paste this in, I could click on the link, but I'm going to cut and paste it so you can see. Um, you need to go to this page. Okay, you need to come to when you uh, get to this page. If you haven't, you need to sign up for an AdWords account. Now, don't worry, uh, you don't have to use AdWords, uh, you don't have to spend any money, it doesn't cost anything, uh, but you need to sign up to Google's AdWords in order to um, access their tool. So, this is very important. If you want to get access to the Keyword Planner, which you will do, it's one of the most essential tools when it comes to search engine optimization and internet marketing you need to sign up here and explain what it's all about but you can ignore most of it just click on here to sign up I already have an account so I'm going to log in now here and when you've logged in it will take you to this campaigns page now you can ignore all of this that doesn't matter you see here your account isn't active because I'm entered billing information that's fine I don't want to enter any billing information right now so I'm not worried about that what you need to do is come to here Tools and Analysis, Tools and Analysis. Click on that. Then down here you'll see Keyword Planner. Click on that. Okay, and when you've clicked on that, you'll come down here. And what we want is we want to go search for new keyword. Click in here. And then in here, think of the area or the subject matter that you're interested in or what your blog site's going to be. So say, for instance, I'm interested in Golf for Beginners. Well, for beginners okay you don't have to touch anything you might want to um, I've got here all locations you can um, select the, a different country whatever you can put in if you're just targeting say the United Kingdom you could you could select that but actually what I want to do is remove is all locations okay all locations or just the US but I'm going to go all locations and just click here down here get ideas and it will go away and come up with some ideas. Then the tab you want, ignore this, ad group ideas. What you want is this one here, keyword ideas. Click on that. And there you go. It's got the original term that you look for. Goo for beginners. Goal for beginners. It says average monthly serve, uh, searches. So this is based on an exact match. There are 2,400 searches a month based on goal for beginners so that's quite a good one 2400 and what you'd be looking for is I would say look for five five keyword phrases okay that have a thousand or more searches okay and look for ones which make sense that somebody would you know I want to how to play golf for beginners you know does that make sense pretty low 390 Best golf clubs for beginners. That might be a good one. People might be looking, you know, to start playing golf. So things that make sense that that to to a reader, not necessarily make sense to a Google search engine, but make sense to to what people are actually looking for. Okay. Now the best way to do this is to once you've got these keywords, and you can sort them in here by clicking on it in terms of the number of searches. There we are. Now some of these you know are going to be too high and and and, you, and not really relevant for what you need 
you'll probably find them a lot the average month monthly searches you'll probably find a lot less for, the, for your needs but what you can do is once you've got these keyword ideas is download them so you click on that button there yeah let me just cancel that again I'll show you click on that better download okay and you want Excel CSV okay and just hit download and that will download whether, wherever your downloads go on your computer I'm just going to close that and then what I like to do is open up my Google Docs. So what I like to do is put in uh, my a Google Docs spreadsheet. You can put it in an Excel spreadsheet, but I like to use a Google Docs spreadsheet. So I like to click in this box, select the whole the whole spreadsheet, hit File, Import, Create New Spreadsheet, choose the file. It's the file that I've downloaded from Google AdWords. Hit open. Then we want to make sure that it's laid out and spread all nicely. So down here, separate character. I want the separate character by tab. And you'll see the preview there. That's much better. Then import. And then up here, open now. And then let's change it to a friendly file. File. Don't want this. Call it keywords. Okay. Golf. Okay. Hit yeah, OK. And then what we can do is just tidy it up. So I like to select that comment, make it a bit wider, so we can see the keywords there nicely. Then select these columns here because we don't need that. And we just get rid of those. So delete F to J, yes, please. And then what I probably will do is in here insert a column, and I'm just going to call this competition. Okay, there's a competition here, but you can ignore that. And also, what I like to do here, put video. Okay, so then you can sort however you want. You can sort by average monthly searches um, using the sort mechanism. Select the whole thing. Let's do sort by column. Okay, and it's sorted all the main keywords, and you've got loads and loads of keywords here. And what you're looking for basically, the ones that are really high are probably going to be too high. They're too generalist, and you probably don't want those. So you can get rid of some of these. Um, you know, TaylorMade is a golfing brand. You know, Callaway golfing brand. They're far too generalist. What you want is people who are looking for what it is that you're doing. Golf swing analysis might be good for my needs. And just go through the list and select the words that you think are going to be useful and that have um, searches of more than uh, a thousand. Uh, simple golf swing. That's a good one. People might be looking for a simple golf swing. Um, golf beginners, how to improve golf swing. It's a bit, a bit small there. But just go through and look for keywords that you think are going to be useful. Golf swing drills, that's another one useful. And in fact, what you can do is create another sheet and then copy them across. Okay, but that's basically how I use the keyword planner, okay, very straightforward.